In the deepest corners of our homes, where light seldom reaches, unseen horrors may dwell. Let's delve into a chilling tale that will surely send shivers down your spine. In a quaint neighborhood, nestled amidst the city's hustle, a family moved into their new home, a charming two-story house with a spacious basement. Excitement filled the air as they unpacked, turning the house into a home. But not long after, they noticed something odd. The basement, despite being well insulated, was always unusually cold. And when night fell, strange noises echoed, a symphony of inexplicable creaks and groans, as if the house was alive, whispering its secrets. At first, they dismissed it as the house settling in, after all. Every old house has its quirks. But as the days turned into weeks, the cold intensified, and the noises grew louder, more persistent. And the family, now wary, decided to investigate. Armed with flashlights and a sense of trepidation, they descended into the cold, dimly lit basement. As they carefully navigated the space, they stumbled upon an anomaly, a wall that sounded hollow, unlike the others. Their curiosity peaked, they decided to break it down. What they found on the other side was far from ordinary. Beyond the wall lay a hidden room, cloaked in years of dust and darkness. It was a living space of sorts, with a worn-out mattress, a chair, and a table littered with old newspapers and empty cans. It was as if someone had been living there, in the cold, in the dark, hidden from the world. The family stood there, aghast, their minds racing with questions. Who was this unseen dweller? Why did they choose to live in such solitude? The room offered no answers, only the chilling remnants of a life lived in shadows. And in that room, they found not monsters, but the remnants of a life lived in darkness and solitude. The Unseen Dweller was not a specter from another realm, but a human, just like them, who had once sought refuge in the cold, echoing basement of their new home. Time is a constant, unyielding force, but in some places it seems to lose its way. Let's delve into the eerie tale of a simple man, a tinkerer by nature, who used his basement as a sanctuary, a workshop of sorts. It was his haven, a place where he could lose himself in his craft. One ordinary day, he descended into his basement, as he had done countless times before. He worked, lost in a world of gears and cogs, the rhythmic ticking of his creations providing a comforting soundtrack. Minutes slipped into hours, or so he thought. Emerging from the basement, he was startled to find that the sun had set, and the hands of the clock had raced ahead. Several hours had passed, though to him it had felt like mere minutes. Confusion gnawed at his mind, but he pushed it aside, chalking it up to his intense focus. However, this time Anomaly persisted. Every trip to the basement seemed to distort time, stretching minutes into hours. His curiosity peaked, the man began to obsess over this strange phenomenon. He started to measure the time he spent downstairs, comparing it to the time that passed in the outside world. The discrepancy was undeniable, and it began to consume him, gnawing at his sanity. His life outside the basement started to crumble. Relationships strained, his job was lost, but he didn't care. The basement and its time-warping mystery had become his world. He was convinced that he was on the brink of a revolutionary discovery, something that could alter our understanding of time itself. Then, one fateful day, he descended into the basement, pocket watch in hand, determined to unravel the mystery. Hours turned into days, Days melted into weeks, but the man never resurfaced. The basement door remained closed, the house silent. He was never seen again, lost to the basement that swallowed time itself. Staircases should lead somewhere, but some just lead to endless fear. Let me spin you a tale of a time when curiosity and courage led a group of adventurous children to an abandoned house. This wasn't your typical derelict dwelling, it was a place where whispers of the past echoed in the hollows of its forgotten chambers, but it was the basement that held the true mystery, a staircase that seemed to descend into the very bowels of the earth. With the bravado of youth, they began their descent, each step echoing in the cold, damp air. The light from their flashlights danced on the decaying walls, casting eerie shadows that seemed to reach out for them. Down, down they went the world above becoming a distant memory. The stairs twisted and turned, yet offered no end, no respite. 
It was as if they were descending through time itself, each step a leap into the unknown. The deeper they went, the more the fear began to gnaw at their courage. The air grew colder, the darkness deeper. An oppressive silence settled around them, a silence that seemed to hum with anticipation. The staircase, once an object of curiosity and adventure, had become a winding path of dread. Panic set in. They turned to retreat, to escape the never-ending staircase, the chilling silence, the enveloping darkness. But the ascent seemed just as endless as the descent. Every step upward was a struggle against the growing terror that clawed at their hearts. Finally they emerged from the basement, gasping for breath, their faces pale, their eyes wide with fear. They had escaped the staircase that seemed to descend into oblivion. But the experience left them changed, their childhood innocence replaced with a haunting memory that would linger long after. The stairs that descend into the unknown still stand today, an open invitation to the unwary. They are a testament to the terrifying adventure of those children, a chilling reminder that some doors, once opened, reveal a path that leads not just down into a basement, but into the depths of fear itself. Sometimes, silence isn't the absence of sound, it's the echo of something far more sinister. In the midst of tranquility, a couple found their peaceful home tainted by an unsettling whisper, a faint murmur that seemed to originate from the depths of their basement. It was a sound that played on the edge of their consciousness, an elusive whisper that seemed to be both everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Their journey into the abyss of the unknown began with curiosity. The whispers were faint, barely audible but distinctly there. A subtle disturbance in the silence of their home, like a sigh lost on the wind. Fascinating, and yet, deeply unnerving. The couple, brave or perhaps just foolhardy, decided to confront the source of the whispers. They descended into their basement, their hearts pounding in their chests, their breaths held in anticipation. The whispers grew louder, more distinct, yet no source could be found. It was as though the very walls were speaking, their voices echoing off the cold, concrete walls. Terrified, the couple sought help. They called in experts, mediums, and even a priest, but to no avail. The whispers remained, a haunting chorus that grew louder with each passing night. The couple's desperation grew. They were prisoners in their own home, tormented by an unseen entity that seemed to derive pleasure from their fear. In a final act of desperation, they decided to move. They packed their belongings and left, hoping to leave the whispers behind. But the whispers had become a part of them, an echo that continued to reverberate within the silent corners of their minds. The whispers may have stopped, but their echoes still reverberate in the silent corners of their home. Their new home was quiet, but the echoes of the past remained, a haunting reminder of the terror they had faced, an indelible mark on their lives. The couple had escaped the whispers, but the echoes, the echoes were a haunting presence they could never truly escape. Basements are often the least visited areas of our homes, but they can harbor the most chilling tales. We've traversed through the shadowy depths of these stories together, each one a chilling reminder of the unseen, the forgotten, and the eerie echoes that can lurk beneath our very feet. Let's take a moment to revisit these tales. The Unseen Dweller, a spectral presence that turned a peaceful home into a nerve-wracking ordeal. The Basement of Lost Time, a place where the past and present became entwined in a mysterious dance. The Unending Stairs, a seemingly simple descent that spiraled into a nightmare of never-ending steps. And lastly, The Haunting Echoes, a story that reminds us that sometimes the scariest things are the sounds that we cannot trace. Each of these stories is a testament to the power of the unknown, the unsettling, the eerie. They illustrate that even the most familiar places can become the setting for a spine-tingling tale. They remind us that fear can take root in the most unexpected corners of our lives. But these stories are not just about fear. They are also about the human spirit, the courage to face the unknown, and the strength to continue even when the path ahead is shrouded in darkness. Now it's your turn. We've shared our tales, and we want to hear yours. Have you ever had a creepy encounter in a basement? Do you have a story that sends shivers down your spine? We invite you to share your experiences and thoughts in the comments. 
Let's continue this journey into the unknown together. Thanks for watching. And remember, the next time you venture into your basement, you might not be alone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. Let's keep these stories alive and let's keep reminding ourselves that sometimes, the real horror lies not in the darkness, but in what we bring into it.